Good day, good day! How the honk are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right! Hey, welcome to a one on Wednesday. That'd be one finger. What up Wednesday here on Roverland? This is your friend Dano, and we are going to take a look at this bugger. We're going to get right into it today. Yes, sir. This is the all new Land Rover Range Rover Evoke moving parts from Matchbox. Yes, I just picked these up uh, from my friend Dustin. Now, uh, give me a really good price on these. Uh, I don't I don't rightly know what store he got them from but uh, these are hot right off the boat stuck in the canal no that was a different story anyway so here we are and uh, this is glorious this is grand and uh, as you see we got two so you know what that means okay anyway we're gonna look at the packaging this is that uh, goofy packaging um, like I said, Matchbox is supposed to trying to, uh, they do this supposedly so kids can see what the car is from hanging down below. Say you're a kid and this is hanging on the pegs so you can see what the car is below. Because otherwise the car sits down here and, and uh, from the view upwards you can't see what car it is. So that's their reasoning for this moving parts this is the only thing that they're doing it with is this moving parts it's kind of got a flaps on both sides there interesting interesting but otherwise um same kind of uh information on the back and uh, i think these are from the same case yeah p40a uh the uh, yeah 4b10 and uh yeah so they must that that walmart i'm gonna assume got it uh two cases because i think these are like only one to a case uh if i'm not mistaken maybe it's two i'm not sure uh so yeah so there is your uh rigmarole uh legal guard jargon stuff that you can see here's the upc code if you want to take a look at that and uh while i'm looking here and we're taking a look and um I think we got a winner. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's damaged. So you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. That means we're going to open one of these buggers up. That's right. I got two. Hopefully, I will get more. Uh, the past, um, I don't know, three to six months, I would say, uh, you know, it's always hard to get Matchbox um, where I live they're you know, they're, you know, 24 to a pack versus Hot Wheels, 72 to a pack. And, uh, they're just so hard to get, let alone, uh, these specialty lines like moving parts line. Um, so yeah, so let's, uh, pop this baby open and get a better look at this gem. All right. And, uh, we're going to put that up there so you can take a look at that because I got my trusty box cutter and I got to bring it over to the side of the counter here so I can easily and, and uh, so delicately uh, open this up so I can kind of preserve the packaging and all in all. So yeah, this is, it's going very well. I changed the blade. Yes. All right. I think oh, we're going to have to go a little bit longer or higher on this side over here. So have you got one of these? Yeah, give me a thumbs up in the video. Give me a thumbs up if you got one. If not, give me a thumbs up if you like the story, huh? All right, here we go. Oh, I think I got this opened enough. Let's see, it's got a double plastic part here. Is that all the way connected? Uh, I think I gotta go up higher on the arch here for this. Uh, particular model so it's kind of like a pill capsule looking uh, uh, thing it's not really square like our regular um, there we go so now I was able to flip it up I, I just do it all the way there and so then we can get this bugger out yeah see there oh boy we got parts flying already all right so this uh, little paper inlet why well, that probably is a bugger to uh, put on there but there it is, and that just 
fits right there on the bottom like that so that's kind of fun and then we've got this I don't know two-sided clamshell uh, thing here and that uh, also uh, goes up in there and holds the door open so you can see that it's a moving part so we're just gonna pluck that out like that and there we are oh yeah we'll close the door for you oh isn't she glorious isn't she grand yeah let's get a better view here i already got a booger on the door way to go yeah look at that baby so this is uh let's see if we can get it to show for you this is a pearl essence white yes a pearl white awesome 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 oh kind of a let me get my pointer here this this gap is pretty big there wow but uh I mean, the, the uh, closed side is pretty nice. Let's flip it around and see how this side is. Yeah, a little bit of a gap, but hey, I suppose I had to do that because of uh, obviously the opening door feature here. So, well, let's go around the vehicle here in a systematical order, and uh, maybe we'll grab another one and take a look at the regular Evoke and see how much is different, all right? So here we are, the front end, beautiful front end. Nice decal all the way across the front, Range Rover, or Land Rover on, nope, Range Rover on the hood. Nice grill. Let's zoom in a little bit, see if we can't get some, there we are. Yeah. The hood has got some inserts from the interior that comes up through. And uh, I believe the, yep, these uh, light vents on the bottom are decals as well. Still nicely placed. Very, very nice sharp front end. Uh, windshield has got the molded head uh, wipers on it. Very nice there. Let's come on over to the driver's side. Yep, left hooker. The traditional, what are those called? Oh, I don't remember what wheels those uh, Matchbox calls those. But very, very nice. I think the wheel arches are different from the uh, original Evoke that we got before and as you see mine's got a booger right oh on the door right here on the door and then uh back farther yeah you see it right here and right here yeah pretty nice all right <laughs> all right so we get to the back very nice no mud flaps or anything like that get to the back here very very nice range rover with the uh fin on there yep looks like the underneath that uh aerodynamic fin it doesn't get quite the paint that it should kind of interesting you can see that it's kind of got a catch catch there but those tail lights are very nice nice detail uh, de uh decals even on the bottom it's got the marker lights uh dual exhaust there R the land rover badge on the right and then evoke what does that say 5d4 what does that say white sd4 what is that what would that say i'm not sure what that would say huh i'm not sure even the packaging doesn't say huh, i'm trying to rack my brain here real quick to see what that would be right off hand but i'm not pulling it out of my brain Range Rover across the tailgate. Not much of a trunk in there because of the uh, roof. Uh, let's go over here real quick on the passenger side. Very, very nice. Got the, got, it does have a side mirror on it. Nice handle sticking out there. You can tell that that door is been, has been painted different um, than the body, but it is, uh, it is metal. It is uh, die cast. Um, you can see here, See if we get a focus. Oh man, the inside of the door. Nice detail and missing on some paint. Yeah. Holy cow. It's nice that it's got the detail there for uh well this side's a little bit better. I gotta get that rear end out of the picture so that it focuses. This side's a lot better. Yeah, a lot better. And that's what you see right there when you uh buy this thing, is that right there? So uh, yeah, interestingly enough, so let's take a look at the interior. Uh, very nice, I like the, um, I don't know, tawny cover or convertible cover on there. So I think that's two parts. The seat 
heads are different than the seat base part. And then you have the, the four seater. I suppose you could make it a five seater, but it looks like a four seater stick shift on the uh, console there. Nice steering wheel, pretty bulky there. It goes clear to the floor, but uh, what are you gonna do for die cast? Now these uh, run about uh, five bucks here in the United States, about five bucks. All right, let's shut that. I mean, it shuts nice and everything. Uh, let's take a look at the base here and uh, the 2016 Land Rover Evoque. Yes, so very, very nice. Uh, 2021, so this thing is a new casting altogether. So great, awesome looking thing. Um, yeah, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is a look at the brand new casting from Matchbox, the Land Rover Range Rover Evoque. Oh, let's stay, let's stay in focus, man. Come on, black out the background. All right. <laughs> there we go. We're in focus so we can get out of here. Thank you for joining me today on Roverland on a one-off Wednesday. And remember, folks, yeah, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.